Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a much requested video, my makeup collection. And I want to do a tiny bit of a disclaimer, just the whole usual, this is my job, this is what I do for part of my living. What else do they say in these disclaimers? This is a video that you guys requested and this is no way, shape or form me showing you everything I own in my makeup collection to show off or um, to brag, although to be perfectly honest there's actually not that much to show off about, but I just feel it's necessary to do a disclaimer like everybody else does before these videos. Now the boring stuff is over, let's get on with the video. But before we start, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. I would like to smash 300 likes on this video, we will see. And if you are new here, then please, please, please subscribe. It would be much appreciated. Let's get on with the video. So guys, as you can see, this is my dressing table. It looks quite full up, but that's how I like it. It's such a big dressing table that it fits so much on. And I like to have everything sort of like in front of me or next to me, so it's like easy to reach. I'm quite lazy, I guess. So the dressing table that you see here, is from ikea and i can't remember how much it was but everything from ikea is so reasonably priced um, and if i go down a little bit you can see that the legs are silver which match my furniture and the dressing table actually matches my working desk if i go back down you can see the bin is the same color as the dressing table and that's because i got that from ikea as well from the same sort of like bedroom section. And the boxes are from TK Maxx. I've already shown those to you guys in the video, so I won't go on about them, but they were crazy cheap and crazy good. I don't know how I was gonna end that sentence. The mirror is also from Ikea. So the mirror base was like 15 pound, I think. It was just your standard white mirror. It's a bit off-white, all my furniture is a bit off-white. And then we bought the attachments round the mirror with the bulbs separately. And then if I pan around a little bit, not too much, because then you'll see my messy vlogging room, and go down. This is my dressing table chair. You guys, I'm sure if you've seen any of my previous videos will recognise this chair. I do literally every video in this chair. This was an old armchair. As you can see by the legs, they're really, really worn. It was an old armchair that I don't know where we found it. I think it was in an old house of ours or in my nan and granddad's house. That has been wrapped in blue, I want to say, or like velvet. I don't actually know what it is. But the colour is Oyster and it was wrapped at Shadrax in Billericay. And I just absolutely love it. And it matches. I've got a three-seat sofa that I've got in my vlogging room as well, but I'm not panning around because my room is messy. So yeah, that is the main part of the dressing table. So let me bring you a little bit closer. So guys, for filming purposes, um, it makes it so much easier for me if I can just bring the stuff out that I'm gonna show you, if you know what I mean, like bring it closer towards me. I have a proper lighting problem when I film videos with these lights here. They make it so orange and they make it impossible to focus a shot. This is my little box of goodies. I don't have a big enough makeup collection at the moment, guys, to have a place for everything. There are a lot of odd bits that don't really have a home, so I kind of make them a home as and where I can. This is mostly my eye box kind of thing. So as you can see, I've got all of these brushes here. Sorry about my hand, guys. It looks like a dinosaur's hand. Got all of my brushes here. Um, and they are all of my eye brushes. Here I've got all of my tweezers and I've got a lot of tweezers for some reason and I don't really know why because I tend to get my eyebrows done. This here, I don't know if you can see it right here, this is all of my eyelash adhesives. Um, I use them obviously for eyelashes and I use them for any like major makeup tutorials like the Halloween ones and stuff that I did. Here are my two Chanel lip glosses that I absolutely adore. Um, and I try not to wear them everywhere because they will run out and I will be sad. So they are for special occasions only. Here are two lipsticks that I got from Superdrug, I think. I don't even know where, like, the name of them. I don't know what brand they are. They don't have up nothing 
they don't have nothing they don't have anything on them just a red and a nude my two favorite lipstick colors i just thought i'd buy them here is all of my beauty blenders um and i have collected quite a few over my time so they've all got a spot although if i get any more they're not going to fit in there which is going to be annoying in here i won't open the drawer there's no point in here are all of my eyeliners slash lip liners they all fit in one drawer so why wouldn't i put them all in one drawer yes it does bug me that they're two separate products but they all fit in one drawer so at the moment that's how it is and in this drawer is all of my mascaras or special eyeliners so guys as you can see i'm in the background of this shot um i'm gonna not make it into one of those videos where it's meant to look like people aren't actually filming it because of course people are filming it and you can see me i'm here as you can see the first thing i have just noticed is i've got a lipstick missing so just imagine there's a lipstick there here you can see they're all of my face products like my foundations actually yes they are all foundations to be honest and here obviously as you can see are my 12 forever living lipsticks and up here are just a few face brushes that i tend to use to put things like con like smaller face brushes like concealer brushes so in these drawers this one has got a oh it's not just eyebrows that's eyes as well smoky eye kit uh it got some glitter some urban decay eyeshadow some eyebrow kit some just some eyeshadows just some random eyeshadow primer from Kryolan. they're all just pretty random really the whole collection's random to be honest um here is some more eyeshadows Kryolan eyeshadows and my what's that collection eyeshadows loving them at the moment and in here are some more collection eyeshadow palette things um, and here as you can see is a nice little candle that I'm pretty sure I already spoke to you guys about in a video, uh, but it's called Sweet Pea and it's from the company Langley Home and it is from Clinton Cards. That's where I got that candle. So if I move over, I might be able to get this all in one shot. Yes, but again, you can still see me. Here are all of my face brushes that I use. Like I've got these kind of brushes. I don't actually know what they're called, but they're pretty cool. And I got them uh, on a website, an online website. But I can't remember what it was called. But it was and these are all of my like face brushes that I would use. So for like blusher, bronzer, powder, contour this is a mirror and you know what oh that mirror is actually from tk maxx really really cheap and that's kind of what i bring forward to do like my eye makeup and stuff with so i can see really really closely because i am blind as a bat so the last part of the dressing table guys is this box this box was from it was from amazon but i can't remember like if it was a company that i bought it from or not and it's a limited edition kardashian see-through product holder i've just got like bits and bobs in here really i've got some plasters i've got my little compact mirrors i've got some lighters to light my candles i've got some pink candles i've got some smashbox primer oil i've got some Kryolan moisturizer i've got some ted baker body spray i've got some victoria secrets body spray i've got some amy child's moisturizer i've got some how do you pronounce that bourgeois Bourgeois nail varnish remover, some MAC brush cleaner, some soap and glory cream stuff, and a little thing that I've never opened. In the first drawer are some sort of palettes kind of things. So I've got a Krylon blusher palette, I've got a another palette that I don't know where that's from, that's a contour palette. I've got a sleek three in one kit, I've got some more eyeshadow, I'm not sure what that's doing in there. I've got some collection blusher, some Urban Decay highlighter. That's all in the top drawer. Second drawer, I've got some Kryolan concealers. I've got some Maybelline cream blusher. I've got some Urban Decay bronzer. I've got some MAC concealer, some collection Little Mix eyeshadow, some more collection eyeshadow, two hulas, and a collection powder. In the next drawer down, I've got two 6th editions 120 color eyeshadow palettes from BH Cosmetics. Um, I love them. They are literally like my lifesavers. I've got some Urban Decay concealer, but I use that as contour because it's too dark for my skin to be used as concealer. I've got some Goof Proof 
benefit eye brow kit thing. I've got some Rimmel bronzer. I've got some Kiko cream eyeliner. I've got some Essence mascara. I've never seen that before. And I've got that collection eyebrow stuff. I'm not really sure what it does. I'm just gonna move this candle out of the way. In the next one down, I've got a couple of nail bits. Uh, these are both from the Vintage Cosmetics Company. Um, usually I've got more nail bits in there, but I have been doing my nails, so they're not in there. In the last drawer, I've got all of my fake tan stuff. As you can tell, this is a really big drawer. So I've got my Benefit Hula fake tan, my Amy Child's fake tan, um, uh, a couple more, some body blings, uh, and some fake tan remover. And then right at the bottom, I keep a little candle on a little coaster so it doesn't burn through. That's one of my pink candles. They smell so good. So guys, that was my makeup collection. I hope you all enjoyed. So like I said, guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye.